that's what true believers do. We bounce back and get back together, and we all end up back in the same place. David, Solomon, Josiah, Paul, Mordecai, all examples of true believers. Solomon pleased God in his prayer to him. Jeremiah was a prophet who endured ridicule, beatings, and jail. Mordecai pleased God and became second in the land, made by the king. I used to think, when I read of these examples, I said, how can I compare that? I mean, these guys, these guys are in the Bible. How can I ever compare to that? Then I started looking, at, you know, just the other day, I realized, no, it wasn't the other day, but I realized that they all made mistakes too. They all made mistakes and they had to reap the consequences. And some of those weren't very pleasing, I, I guess you could say. But in the end, they all pleased God. We all have the same battle. There, that's the that's the key. We all have the same battle as all those in the past. We do today, and sometimes I think looking back on how they lived and how they had to live, I think, wow, we do have it a lot easier than they did. I'm not running from a king, not yet anyway. I run run from my wife once in a while, but. <laughs> But that's okay. You know, David, he killed Uriah and took his wife. And then his consequence, the child died. And he accepted that. He, he knew that it was wrong, so he accepted it. Then you have Daniel, who was thrown into the fire. I mean, the lion's, lion's den. Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego. They were thrown into a furnace. They didn't even have smoke on them when they pulled out. It's amazing. It, the faith and belief that they had to the death. Can we say that for ourselves? I kind of questioned myself once in a while. You know, looking back, and that, that's, that's <laughs> awful. The torture and beatings and jail. And, it's hard. Our human nature can sometimes make us forget to be humble to God and thankful. We, we always have to be thankful. Human nature gets the best of us sometimes. Paul knows. We can turn over there. Let's turn over there. Paul, as he's in one of his struggles in Romans 7, Romans 7 and verse 19, For the good that I will to do, I do not do. But the evil that I will not to do, that I practice. That's, I think that sometimes, and it's hard, overcoming sin. But we always have to depend on God and His Spirit to help us through these things. Even in trials that we're going to go through, and it's going to get worse for us. God demands our attention. In Exodus 25, we don't have to turn there. First and second commandment, he lines, lines out what he expects of us, first and foremost. He's a jealous God. He's the only one we need to be thinking about. We shouldn't have any other idols or anything before him. He wants a family. He wants us to feel for him what he does for us. And all we have to do is obey him and please him. That's, that's our battle, overcoming evil, repenting from our sins, and that's the focus we should have. No matter what happens, no matter what trials we go through, no matter ups and downs, 
no matter how many times we sin, we have to repent and focus on what God has promised us, not for the future, but we should focus on ourselves. We have to constantly evaluate ourselves, constantly evaluate our spiritual condition. And this pleases God. It pleases Him when we seek Him. And He also lines out how we're to conduct ourselves. And that's in Galatians 5. And we know those. Galatians 5, starting in 22. And it's the fruit of the Spirit. Now, we today have His Spirit. I think that may have made it easier. One of the things made it easier for us today than those before us. Uh, sometimes I question myself, but we all do. It's a good thing to question yourself. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, patience, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, self-control, gentleness. All these things. These are all qualities, good qualities of a Christian, and this is what we should have. Against such, there is no law. So we don't have to worry about the law if we're following the law. There is no need to fear. Our comforter is near. We please God when we go to him always. And we can see as Solomon, he was one of my first examples in 1 Kings 3.10, his prayer for wisdom and knowledge that he may rule his people. And God was pleased with that. He was pleased with what he was asking for, not for extended life, not for wealth, but to be a good king. We have comfort always. We can turn to Psalm 71, verse 19. Psalm 71, verse 19. Also, your righteousness, O God, is very high. And his key, always praising God. You have done great things, O God, who is like you. You have shown me great and severe troubles. Shall revive me again. And bring me up again from the depths of the earth. When we're very, very low and get to the point where we don't see a way out of the trials or problems that we may have, whether it's health or whatever, God is there for us. He is our comforter. This should be our first and foremost focus is on God. And we need to have patience. You shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. There it is, comfort me on every side. So patience is a, is a key. I tried that once, and uh, I thought I'd try it again. It works. It works. <laughs> um, you have problems that we go through, and, you know, instead of just turning and wanting to start over again. and you No, know, patience. That's what God's trying to teach us, patience, and, and it. And it does. It pays off very well. Also in uh, 2 Corinthians 1, verse 3 and 4. Second Corinthians 1, verse 3. Blessed be God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort who comforts us in all our tribulations, that we may be able to comfort those who are in any trouble with the comfort which ourselves are comforted by God. So he instructs us to pass that on, comfort each other, help each other out. It, it makes a big difference. There's no reason to get discouraged. He's always there to help us. Or maybe it is a good, maybe it is good to get discouraged once in a while. It gives gets us more anxious to call on God. We have to depend on Him, and if 
and that might be a good thing. He wants us wants us to he wants to know that we're we have humility and he, he that's what he expects from us. He is the Almighty God. Repent, always repenting, always turn back. True belief is always turn back to the same place. True believers will make it. We'll finish this battle and win. We will inherit our place in the kingdom because we are true believers. We're all here together again. God will see to it. God knows all things. <laughs>